As you gaze out at the raging sea, have you ever wondered what it would be like to experience a storm with powerful winds that could uproot trees, shatter windows, and toss ships around like mere toys? Welcome to the world of Beaufort Levels, a system that classifies sea storms based on wind speed and their environmental impact. From the moderately high waves of a Beaufort 8 to the violent hurricane force of a Beaufort 12, each level presents a new challenge for those who dare to face it. Join us on a thrilling journey through real-life moments and events that showcase the raw power and unpredictability of the ocean as we delve deeper into the Beaufort levels and uncover the stories behind these incredible phenomena. Brace yourself for a ride you'll never forget. Just to give a little context on how B1 to B5 sounds and feels, I'll give you a brief overview and some info about how the Beaufort storms affect the ocean. Beaufort 1 is waves with 1 to 3 miles per hour. Beaufort 2 is more intense, with larger waves and stronger winds of 4 to 7 miles per hour. But it also has a certain beauty. Beaufort 3 is even more dangerous, with winds up to 8 to 12 miles per hour and waves that can cause boats to capsize. Beaufort 4 is a powerful storm with winds up to 13 to 18 miles per hour and waves as high as 8 feet. Level 5 on the Beaufort scale is actually a severe gale, with wind speeds ranging from 19 to 24 miles per hour, which can make it nearly impossible for boats to navigate, as a fishing crew off the coast of Maine found out. It is important to respect the power of the sea and never underestimate it. Now, what I'm going to say is not just going to make you respect the power of the sea, it's going to terrify you and show you the dark, scary side of these enormous waves, which just break the Beaufort scale into pieces. Starting from the Beaufort 8, the perfect storm. The perfect storm was a rare climatological occurrence in October 1991, when three distinct weather systems combined to create a significant storm in the Atlantic Ocean. Due to the way everything came together so flawlessly, the storm was given the nickname Perfect Storm. With winds as high as 75 miles per hour and seas as high as 30 feet, the storm was classified as a Beaufort Category 8 storm. Widespread damage was caused by the storm, including the sinking of the fishing boat Andrea Gale, which became the basis for the book and later film The Perfect Storm. Andrea Gale's crew was among several other ships and crews that died at sea. One of the deadliest and strongest storms of the 20th century, the storm imposed millions of dollars worth of damage. The perfect storm serves as a reminder of the dangers of Beaufort Level 8 storms. These storms can create intense winds and waves that can cause widespread damage and loss of life. It's important for people who live near the coast or who work on boats and ships to be aware of the potential dangers of these storms and take appropriate precautions. In 2012, another storm hit the east coast of the United States, which was classified as a Beaufort Level 9 storm. The storm, known as Hurricane Sandy, caused widespread damage and resulted in the loss of several lives. Level 9 In October 2012, an important tropical storm formed in the Caribbean Sea. As it approached the east coast of the United States, the storm's power increased to Beaufort Category 9 with sustained winds at the top of 54 miles per hour and waves reaching as much as 32 meters. On October 29, the hurricane made landfall in New Jersey, causing havoc and knocking out electricity around the East Coast. More than 200 individuals died as a result of the hurricane, which hit 24 states and cost more than $70 billion in damages. The storm surge in New York City caused major flooding that shut down the city's subway system and flooded residences and businesses. The famed Atlantic City boardwalk was raised by the storm surge, and the storm also seriously damaged coastal infrastructure. The high winds and waves associated with Hurricane Sandy made it extremely dangerous for ships and boats in the affected areas. Many vessels were forced to seek shelter to avoid the storm's wrath. One notable example was the HMS Bounty, a replica tall ship that sank off the coast of North Carolina during the storm. 14 crew members were rescued, but two were lost at sea. Hurricane Sandy serves as a reminder of the devastating power of Beaufort Level 9 storms. Despite advanced warning systems and preparations, such storms can cause widespread destruction and loss of life. Level 10 Hurricane Katrina, a harmful hurricane with wind speeds exceeding Beaufort Level 10, made an impact on the American Gulf Coast in August 2005. With sustained winds of 280 km per hour, and gusts as high as 340 km per hour, 
It was a Category 5 hurricane at its strongest point and one of the storms with one of the highest gusts ever recorded. The storm caused widespread damage, with storm surges reaching up to 8 meters high and flooding large areas of Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama. More than 1,800 people lost their lives and damage estimates exceeded $125 billion. The impact of Hurricane Katrina was felt across multiple industries. The offshore oil and gas industry was severely affected, with 109 offshore platforms destroyed or severely damaged, causing widespread oil spills and other environmental damage. The storm also disrupted shipping and transportation, with many ports and rail lines damaged or destroyed. In addition to the immediate damage, Hurricane Katrina had long-lasting effects on the affected communities. The storm exposed social and economic inequalities, and low-income and minority communities were disproportionately affected. The failure of the levee system in New Orleans, which flooded large parts of the city, highlighted the need for better infrastructure and disaster planning. Beaufort Level 11 During a sea storm of Beaufort Level 11, the winds can reach up to speeds of 52 km per hour or more, which is classified as a violent storm. This kind of storm can cause extensive damage to trees and forests. The phenomenon commonly known as dancing trees is an example of the impact of severe winds on trees during such storms. When the winds reach Beaufort Level 11, the tree's branches start to sway violently and the trunk bends and twists, as if it's dancing. This phenomenon is caused by the strong gusts of wind, which are powerful enough to bend the trees to their limits. The movement of the trees can be mesmerizing, but it's also a sign of the danger posed by the storm. The dancing trees phenomenon can lead to the uprooting of trees, falling branches, and other hazards. This can pose a significant threat to people, property, and the environment. In 2013, a severe storm hit the Czech Republic, causing widespread damage, including uprooting of trees. The storm resulted in several fatalities and millions of dollars in damages. In addition to the impact on the trees, a sea storm of Beaufort Level 11 can also create dangerous waves that can be extremely hazardous to ships and boats. The waves can reach heights of up to 50 feet and even large vessels can be tossed around like toys in such conditions. The storm can also create dangerous sea currents, making navigation extremely difficult and risky. Level 12 Typhoon Haiyan was one of the deadliest and most powerful typhoons ever, and it provides an incredible example of the damage that a storm with a Beaufort Level 12 storm can cause. In November 2013, a typhoon hit the Philippines, bringing with it sustained winds of over 73 miles per hour and gusts reaching as high as 46 feet. The storm, considered to be the most powerful to ever hit land, inflicted havoc on the area. The storm surge created by Typhoon Haiyan caused the most damage. Waves of up to 50 feet high crashed into coastal areas, washing away buildings, homes, and people. The city of Tacloban, which was especially hard hit, saw almost 6,000 killings and tens of thousands of buildings destroyed. The storm annihilated highways, water systems, and electrical lines in addition to causing harm to infrastructure, depriving millions of people of access to basic needs. In a Beaufort Level 12 sea storm, the wind speed and wave height can be just as extreme as in Typhoon Haiyan. The destruction caused by such a storm can be catastrophic, causing loss of life and property damage on an unprecedented scale. It is essential to heed the warnings of authorities and evacuate if instructed to do so. In conclusion, Typhoon Haiyan serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of a Beaufort Level 12 sea storm. The storm caused widespread devastation and loss of life and it highlights the need for proper emergency planning and evacuation procedures in such situations. It is crucial to take any warning seriously and seek safety immediately when such a storm is approaching. From the terror of a Beaufort Level 12 storm with its high waves and strongest winds to the Beaufort Level 8 sea, the power and beauty of the ocean never fail to amaze us. Witnessing the raw power of a storm at sea can be a truly humbling experience, reminding us of our place in the natural world. As we look back at some of the most dramatic sea storm moments in history, we are reminded of the bravery and resilience of those who have faced the might of the ocean head on. If you want to experience the magic and fury of the sea for yourself, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on nature's most powerful phenomena.